Ah, uh, yes. So it has made it four weeks as of today that I made the initial unboxing and overview of the Sofa Baton X1S. And this is their universal remote that I think they're aiming to be the best universal remote that you can buy now that Logitech has been out of the game for a few years now. And I went through setup and I it was uncut, unedited, raw, just going through setup by myself on camera. And a lot of you guys in the comments agreed that it was a little bit difficult to get around things, figure out what the remote wants me to do, how to connect multiple devices, how to get activity set up. But once you get through it, it works phenomenally. So this is going to be the one month review of the X1S. I'm currently still using this. I've got rid of my U1 remote from, or U2 remote, wherever that's, I don't even know where it's at. <laughs> But I have their U2 remote, their universal remote that doesn't use a, a HUD. I, be, I was using that for a while until they sent me this out for review, and this has replaced it. And I absolutely love this remote. Um, it does not give me any issues whatsoever. It does my commands every time. When I turn on an activity to turn on a projector, receiver, and fire TV stick, it does it. When I want to turn everything off, it does it. Um, it communicates very well with my system. I have no troubles adding new things to it. It controls my Blue Blade player, my projector, my Fire TV stick, my Anthem AVM 70. So everything that I'm using in here, it works with. And there are tons more things that it can do. And it's been perfect so far. Um, yeah, setup wasn't easy, but using the remote physically itself is simplistic to the point where when I have my girlfriend over, I hand her the remote and she can use it, which is super important to me. And it may be for you, if you guys are using this in a living room or maybe not in a home theater, but you know, like a regular television with a Blu-ray player and an Xbox and whatever, if multiple, multiple people are gonna be using this, you want it to be as user-friendly to them as it is to you. You don't wanna to have to stop what you're doing to go find the remote and use it for them and change inputs for them because they don't know how. This has been super easy to where I give it to her. She knows to go to activities and hit watch TV for fire TV or hit movie to watch a movie and you just hit off button and it turns everything off. It is excellent. So it is even easy enough for her to use and she doesn't care, nah, I would say half as much as me when it comes to home theater. Build quality is fantastic. If you drop it, you probably have carpet or it's probably not from a high distance, most likely. So it's gonna hold up to any drops or anything like that. It does have an alarm on it, so if you lose it inside a couch cushion or you walk with it to the kitchen but didn't bring it back to the living room and don't know where it is, you can open up the Sofa Baton app and send a chime to this so you can find it or just use the app as the remote itself. That is awesome. Um, it does charge via USB Type-C like everything else is nowadays. And luckily for me, in my, my seats I have you know, two USB ports, so I can just plug it up right here and leave it here if it ever dies. Speaking of battery life, I've charged it once to fully charge it when I did the review. Right now, it's probably like 80, maybe 90% charged. It's been four weeks, so does really well. And this is motion censored, so when you pick it up and touch a button, it's backlit, it comes alive so you can see what you're doing. So it's an excellent remote. It is very, uh, again, friendly to use. There's not a lot of buttons on the surface. So you have your main ones, you know, your click wheel, your enter button, home button, back button, volume, channel button, and a couple quick options if you want to program to be. Um, so it's a super easy remote to navigate and then getting into the screen and using it that way is also great too. So I'm here to just tell you guys, if you're looking for a remote that's going to control almost everything, almost everything, this is a really good remote to look at. Um, I used to have the... Logitech, I think it's Harmony Ultimate or a Home or whatever it was, Elite something, I don't remember, but it was my favorite remote. It had a charging hub, it controlled everything, Bluetooth, um, IR, whatever. It doesn't do IF, unfortunately, or RF, but it does everything else. So this is a great um, second option if you're finally looking to ditch your old Harmony remote or you never had a Harmony remote and you're looking for a universal remote now, there's not many that's better than this that I can remember, um, one for all makes a remote that's really good too. Um, it's not, I don't think they have an option for the hub, but they have a really easy um, to learn, easy to use remote too. That might be a second best to this, but I personally think 
that they are out to make this remote the best that they can. And I've heard word from Sofa Baton themselves that they're making something even better than this that can do more things that the customers have been asking for for a while. So you know that I'm going to get my hands on that and test that out too. Um, so if you're looking for a remote, I'm going to put this down below in the description box. You guys can click the link. It'll be to Amazon where you can get it the fastest. Um, do check out my review video or my unboxing video so you can see what to expect. And I have done all of Social Baton's other remotes. So if you're looking at the U1, the U2, um, the original X remote, the X1, if you're looking for any of their uh, Fire TV remotes or Roku remotes, I've reviewed every single one of them. Um, so be sure to check those videos out as well as the video of this. Um, again, hit the like button, subscribe if you are not already, and we will see you guys in the next video. Kip Base Guy out. Peace.